Hello and welcome to the second topic of the course. Today we speak about how to load vector geography data into GVSIG. We have seen that GVSIG main window is made up of the title bar, the menu bar, the toolbar, the main window and the status bar. In GVSIG all the, pro all the activities are located in the project and every project is made up of different kinds of documents. There are four main document types in GVSIG 2.1 the views, the tables, the maps, the charts, plus portable views and map sheets that can be installed through a dedicated plugin. Let's have a look through these different kinds of documents. The views are the documents in which we work with graphic data. The tables are the documents in which we work with alphanumeric data, the attributes. The maps are the documents in which we combine the different geographic elements to be included in a map, view, legend, scale, which can be printed or exported as PDF. We have as well the map sheets, where the maps are arranged in series according to user preferences for size and extension. And the last, the charts, are the documents in which we create graphs from loaded tables to be exp exported or inserted in maps. Let's open our first view. We have to click on Views, then New, and then we open the new view and we can rename it by clicking here, Rename, and type our new name. In our case, we can rename my first view. Or as well, we can click on Properties. In this case, we will open this window, the View Properties, and we can set up a set of information such as edit name view and insert your name for example the name you want to to give to your view and by default all the units and the current projection assume the default values set in the view preferences you can define as well a new one for your view and in case you can set it as a new default SRS and remember that setting the current projection and the file if there has been the default one, is very, very important if we want to correctly visualize our geographical data. How we can set the view projection? We can click here on three points. There is the, this new window, new CRS or SRS, and the most recently used are kept in memory here in recent, but we can as well define a new one by the three search criteria we have already seen by code just type the code if you know already by name if you know the reference system name or you can click by area you click for example Kenya and you will have all the SRS available for Kenya remember that uh, the first thing you can do is to save your project you click here file save project or control s and you browse your computer until you reach the, the folder in which you want to save your name. But remember that a project is made up of files as well. And if you move the files that made uh, part of the project from one folder to a different one or just renaming, the project will not open properly and always will ask you to define the file's new location. Then we can open the view. We can or just double click here or click on open and this is how it appears we have a TOC table of contents where geographic layers are loaded and listed we have the geographic view where the loaded geographic layers are visualized and the locator we will speak about it where the loaded geographic layers are framed in a larger and well-known context so how we can add a layer we can click on here view add layer in the menu bar or directly here in the toolbar or once we have already some layer loaded we can right click in the table of contents and add layer here we have a list of tag but just select file for the moment and then click on add you will see here the new window for opening the layer you have all the supported 
layer extension. You can click on all supported or just select what you need. My suggestion for these first uh, steps, let's click on all supported. You browse until you reach the layer you want to load. You just double click or one click and then open. It will appear in this list. And then you click on add. You click on add if you want to add a new layer. Once you have all the list of the layer you want to load, just click OK. We have as well the advanced setting that you can click here and you see in the basic setup you can define the SRS of the layer you want to load that can be different maybe from the one of the view as well the encoding and we'll speak about it in tables lessons. In the advanced tag you can define as well how to handle dates and alphanumeric text and the layer again the SRS and encoding. So now we have loaded our layer and we can divide in three different uh, activities, let's say. In this case, the layer is not active and not selected. In this case, it's active and selected. In this case, it's not active but selected. And remember that always the action you will do in GVSIG affect the selected, the, uh, the active layer. You can also activate more than one by clicking one and then shift and the other ones. We'll see them later in the exercise. You see that with the left, as I told you before, with left mouse, with left mouse, you click and you select the layer. With the right click, you open contextual menu. You can, for example, bring to front, it means bring to the top one layer or made some more activities that we'll see later on. Remember, do all the layers by point, lines and polygons from top to bottom, because in this way points and lines will not be covered by polygons. And as I told you before, contextual menu can be used as well to add a new layer to the table of contents. Let's speak about locator. Why we should use a locator? A locator is used to have a better and faster idea of the location of features shown in the view at any zoom level. What are the requirements of a locator? A locator should have an extension equal or bigger than the features that are loaded in the view. For example, if you work with Ecuador, the locator could be South America. So let's make an example that uh, we have loaded Equator, South America and all these layers that I have already uploaded in the course, you click view, locator setup, here you have the layer, you browse where you have saved South America layer, you click add, then OK. You see here the locator appears, and as I told you before, should be equal or bigger, but then if I zoom, we'll see later how to zoom, you see that the area is exactly framed as the views. So locator helps user understanding where the shown features are located in a country, because maybe you don't understand where this area is, but if you look at South America, you can easily understand where you are. If you go in the locator and you right click, the view extension will be newly centered, keeping the same extension. And if you left click, user defines the extension of the view using the locator interface. So there is a link between the view and the locator. So well, now we are now able to load our geographic data. Let's zoom and select for a better visualization. So next topic will be zoom and graphic selection.